Grouping is another very important uh, way that we can modify our data. And um, it's a bit more complicated than some of the other methods that we've been using before. So we're really just going to kind of touch on the uses of it. So obviously one way that we could use it is to group by a particular column. And then that allows us to pull out subsets of rows ba based on the values that are in uh, the certain columns that we're grouping in. Um, and that's something that you could also do by the selection method that I showed before. But another um, important extension of that is that once we have grouped the uh, values in a particular column, we can then collapse that column by uh, performing some kind of summary statistics on all of the values that fall within that particular group. So for example, if we wanted to, um, to uh, group all of the sectors in, and find the total for each one, we could use the sum. So if we did that, we, these five rows here that contain commercial, electric power, industrial, residential, and transportation, each of the values for Alaska would be summed together and they would be collapsed into a single value for that column. And that would be carried out for every column in the table and also for every state. So although they, you could do some functions uh, sort of manually by doing selecting, by using the grouping functions, it's really easy to perform a more complicated operations on the entire table at once. And um, there's a number of different sort of, of, of summarizing methods. Sum is an obvious one. Mean is another very useful one where you would find the average of all of the values that fall into that group. And there are others that you can uh, look up in the documentation. So let's just review what is in the state CO2 data by looking at the top part of it. So if we wanted to, um, group by state, then that would essentially create groups of rows for which the value in the state column were all the same. Then from those groups, we could pull, pull out any particular group that we want, for example, Texas. So if we run this, we can see that I've selected out only the rows for Texas. And again, I could have performed this particular operation just by using the select feature like I showed um, previously, but it allows us to do more powerful things. So for example, instead of just showing me Texas, I could take the sum of all of the states. And when I run that, um, I can see that I get uh, totals for all of the sectors for all 51 of the states. So that's a very powerful thing. If I wanted to, I could, um, instead of grouping them by state, I could group them by sector. And again, I could pull out all the values for a particular sector. So now I'm going to get all of the uh, industrial sector values for all 50 states. And again, I could then collapse the table if I wanted to. Um, so now instead of having 51, col uh, 51 rows where I totaled up the sectors for each state. I now have five rows where I totaled up the uh, sectors for all of the states and produce these values right here. So um, this is actually pretty cool because then if we wanted to add up all the values for the sectors, I could then just transpose the table basically to flip it around so that these rows are column headers and then have it perform the sum on that transpose table. So if we do that, so here, the, here this is showing me what the transpose table looks like. I can see that the rows are now columns. And then if I ask it to do the sum on that, it's going to produce a series of five values and those five values would be the total of the five columns that I have um, that I have summed up, and so this is like a pretty quick way to basically add up the totals of all the transportation values for all the states for all the years. Uh, so again, it's a pretty powerful thing. And if I wanted to find that the average 
for all of the states instead of the total, then I could transpose and then perform, do the mean function. We can see that that's a very different answer. The average per state is way different than the total per state.